Here's how to locate the Arduino libraries on your computer. So you need to open the Arduino IDE and then go to File and then Preferences. So you'll see here there's a settings here for sketchbook location. So this shows you the base location for where they're located. So depending on whether you're using Windows, a Mac or Linux, the files are in a slightly different location. On all three device types, the actual location depends on what username you use to log into your system. So I use a Windows PC and my Arduino libraries are in C, Users, Brett, Documents, Arduino and then Libraries. So now each library is in a separate subfolder. So look at a common one. The Adafruit GFX library is very common. So if we go into that one, then we can see the actual files are here. So these CPP and .h files are the actual libraries files. So sometimes it's really useful if you want to go into the subfolders. For example, in the Adafruit GFX library, there's a fonts subfolder. So if you go in there, you can see all of the fonts that are installed. So another very common library you might need to go into the files of is the TFT ESBI library by Bodmer. If you're using OLED or TFT displays, then you'll invariably come across this library. And this one you actually need to edit the files. So back in the Arduino IDE, to add a library, you go to Tools and then Manage Libraries. So you can search for whatever library you want. You can also update them from here. Sometimes it updates them automatically when you load the Arduino IDE, but it might not always work. So if you want to add a library and you can't actually find it in the library manager, you can actually also download a zip file from the library and use it that way. So to add a zip file which you've downloaded, you can go to sketch and then include library and then click on add zip library. So once you've added the zip library, it will unzip it and put it into the library folder as we've seen earlier in the video. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.